Um, this is application of Briar Brown Highlight Stain, a very old one that I have here, that I am going to put on this basket weave. Um, I've grown to like to do basket weave this way with the um, rows of basket weave dyed different colors, resisted, etc. But then a guy, Stephen Friedler, came up with this way of coloring each individual basket weave. And of course now I have to try that too. Um, really looks good. But this process here, applying the highlight stain, is what makes the whole thing pop. This is what gets it going. Looks like I can do the whole project in one go. Uh, and the main thing here is not to let this highlight stain dry out while it's on here. It's got to stay wet, so the idea is to move it around all the time. Push it around, make sure it goes into all the impressions. And keep it very wet, very wet, very wet, very wet. There we are. I think that's good. And now for a wipe off. I like dry paper towel. And that doesn't look too bad. Um, the blue lines have disappeared a bit, so I was wondering what that would do. Uh, even though I put Super Sheen on top of the blue lines, they seem to have darkened into a, almost a black. But that's fine. That is fine. The highlight stain does subdue the colors a bit in any case, so... I really like what I see. There we go. Now it's going to dry out. And then it's all done. I've been asked about applying Super Sheen or Neat Like Then. What your preference is over Highlight Stain. So I didn't have a project halfway. So I am going to first do Highlight Stain. This one is uh, chestnut tan. Uh, it's kind of a favorite of mine, the chestnut tan color. That, sometimes mixed with saddle tan. Beautiful. But, so, okay. I'm first going to just apply this, so I thought I'd quickly put that in the video, too, so that um, it forms a hole. Now, there is nothing on this leather. I did not resist any of it. That is a whole different procedure and subject, and I don't want to confuse things now. So, uh, one thing that I want to note um, at this time uh, is as soon as I'm done with this video, I will start a timer going. Um, so that you can see what my dry time is for this before I apply the acrylic finish sealer. Um, so at this point, all I'm doing is making sure that wet highlight stain is in contact with the leather and that I have it going into all the little stamp impressions so that nothing stays unchanged, undyed, there's a spot. Okay, so the most important part of this process is that you make sure that the highlight stain does not get time to dry anywhere. That's why I keep mushing it around and making sure that it is wet everywhere so that it can penetrate the leather and change the color. Okay, 
what if paper towel is handy? And now the wiping off process. And here and there, the um, highlight stain is starting to get thick and sticky, almost drying out on top of the leather here. Um, I usually leave it like that. I like the antique look of it. But if you want a cleaner view, um, let me do a, just a quick corner here. And I'll show you what I mean with a cleaner view. I'm going to put this corner here. And so usually you can do this with a, with a damp cloth, but I'm just using a wet paper towel. And really making sure... Uh -huh, that I pick up any possible excess of that highlight stain. Okay, so now I'm going to let it dry and we'll come back and we'll see what the difference is between the whole piece and where I use the wet paper towel. And um, as I said, I'll start a timer going so that we can see how long this has been set out to dry. Okay. Right, I applied the highlight stain. I had it sit out for two hours. It was an hour of that was under a fan, helping to dry it a bit faster, um, and then an hour more. So now that is t totally dry to the touch. Um, nothing shows up, so it is completely dry. So I'm going to use neat lac, but it would be the same as if you used super sheen. So, um, my neat lac is not in its original container. I put it in this small little one that I uh, keep close at hand. But there it is, neat lac. And I use a little piece of sponge like this. Works really nice. Now, it is going to pick up some of the highlight stain. That is inevitable um, because that just sits on top. So, um, but let me show you. So I pick up some neat lac. And make sure it goes into all of the cavities and all of that. And now, so if I just lightly rub some on it will pool and it will um, make uh, nasty looking uh, spots on this. So what you want to do is keep on moving the sponge until all the neat lac or super sheen, if you use super sheen, has been absorbed into the leather. And you can see it's picked up some of that highlight stain. Um, but there we go. Some spots more wet than others. But the neat lac is nice because it dries fast. So there it is. Um, you know, maybe put some more on. Put some more on that and thoroughly wipe it 
If you think that it is going to pull somewhere or show streak marks, uh, there's one of two things you can do then, and one is just keep on moving it, keep on moving it, or alternatively, you can take a bribe, dry paper towel at this point and wipe it all nice and even so that um, there's no streaks or wipe marks or anything like that. There we go. Now you'll see that there are in the deep impressions uh, almost like it foamed a bit. That will dry out and it will go away. Um, so you need not worry about that. that. Um, the sponge itself, this is the high density sponges and um, they're so nice with this water based stuff. I will squeeze this guy 12 times under the faucet and it will be super clean again for whatever else I want to use it for. Um, and that is the way that I uh, would apply uh, Super Sheen on this. Now, uh, it will more or less set the color on the leather. Um, the acrylic, it's got an acrylic in it. It's set in place. And now you can apply um, any other conditioner or another layer of uh, acrylic sealer later on. But that's the whole, that's how you get it even so that it does not pull for you in certain places. The one thing you can't do is take a brush and, and um, I know that some of you have this type of brush. Well, not this big, but something like that, that you wipe it on or even a... a Paintbrush that will also cause them to streak in places and it's not as effective as what I've just shown you. So I hope that helps. Um, one just point uh, on this: if you first applied a resist like the neat lac or super sheen or whatever before you put the highlight stain on anywhere then the leather would not have changed so much in color overall. It would still be close to its natural hue. Um, that's just an optional step. Uh, the, the highlight stain will still get into the darker, impre into the impressions to darken it. Um, so, but this, uh, I might add a, a small little piece of video at the tail end of this later on that will show if you did have that optional step of resisting uh, underneath the highlight stain somewhere here. Uh, and you can play around a lot with that. I hope this helps. Have fun with it.